this week on Elkara Ham Radio. We're visiting Ireland for the next few days, KY4, CKP, and myself, and we're going to try to make some contacts here in Ireland. We're going to go through some of the things you need to do to get your visitor's license, and then we're going to see if we can hit some of the local repeaters here in Dublin and some of the other cities and towns. That's what's coming up this week on Elkara Ham Radio. I'm KY4 BDP Brian. And I'm KY4 CKP Chris. Chris, where are we this week? Well, this week we are fortunate enough to be in Ireland. We're on a nice trip, uh, spending about nine days over here. And uh, guess what? We're going to try to play some radio. Folks, uh, one of the things that uh, doesn't really get shown very often is when you travel, there's a really good chance that you'll be able to use your ham radio skills in another country. And what Chris and I have done is we did some research, and we hope we've dotted all our I's and crossed all our T's, but we did apply for a visitor's license so that we can actually use our radio equipment here in Ireland. That's right. We're going to be able to push the button. So we've already practiced a little bit, and I'll do a little bit of B-roll here in the background. You can see some of the paperwork that you need to bring with you, and you're supposed to have uh, with you if you're going to be operating a ham radio uh, 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 transceiver here in Ireland. If somebody were to come and ask for your paperwork, then it's similar to what we have in the United States. Your FCC license needs to be on you. Right. You should have your license with you at all times. In fact... Uh, I've got both my licenses with me this week just because I always have my regular U.S. license in my case for my handy talkie, and um, I've got the temporary license uh, that uh, we got from Ireland uh, to be here. Uh, completely different call sign, right? Uh, but it's uh, one that they uh, issue over here, I think, kind of special for visitors. Yeah, it's the format of the visitor's license is a little bit different than those that are native here in Ireland, but mine ended up being uh, Echo India 4 uh, Victor Yankee. And mine is uh, Echo India 4 uh, Victor Kilo. So when we're utilizing uh, repeaters here in the area, or even if we're trying, if we were going to make HF contacts from here, we would have to use the Irish call sign and not our normal FCC call sign from back in the States. Right. I'm sure if we were having a QSO with somebody, we could mention our stateside, uh, uh, of course, uh, your websites or your QRZ page or your regular call sign. But uh, to be legal here uh, as a visitor, we've got our, our temporary issue call signs. Right. And it's only good for our stay. So as Chris mentioned, about nine days is our trip here in Ireland, and our license is only good for nine days. The uh, cost of that license was 30 euros. So you... You're going to pay a little bit of money so you can do some uh, ham radio here in Ireland, but it's not overly expensive. You can get a, a much longer license. Uh, I believe it's good for a year. That was so. about 100 euros uh, if you were going to be staying here for some length of time. Right. So one of the things that once you get here, you're going to want to uh, you know check out. There's a number of good websites, and I'll try to put a couple of screenshots of those websites. But if you may want to look for repeaters in your area, and so when you're programming your HT, uh, or if you've got your HF uh, or other types of equipment that can do VHF, UHF, uh, you can uh, program those repeaters in. And Chris and I did some of that yesterday, as a matter of fact. Right. We uh, looked up on a repeater. Uh, and um, repeater um, repeater book book dot uh, com and we uh, found a couple of seventy centimeter repeaters and a couple of two meter repeaters pretty close to our area right and uh, once we got them programmed into our radios we started checking in with those repeaters putting out your iris call sign and then uh, saying you know radio check or CQ even uh, is doable and I did get one contact he was mobile. Uh, here in Ireland, and we had a chance to talk with him. And you're also supposed to make sure that you have a formal log book. So uh, I'm keeping my logs on my phone so that uh, every contact that I make or repeater that I'm interacting with, you need to log your time, the call signs, and so forth. Right. And really, we should be keeping uh, call logs uh, even when you're stateside and, and working from your normal shack or, or mobile or portable. But it was kind of interesting that our first contact over here was a mobile uh, mm -hmm. person. Because even in the in the of course in the U.S. mobile is is out there, but uh, not as as prevalent as you might think it it might be. And, and being over here, it was a little bit surprising 
So that would happen to be our first contact. Right. And many of the bands that we're using here in Ireland are very similar to what we use in the United States. There are some differences, and you really need to take a look at that. Uh, because if you bring a radio from the States, you need to check what power you're using, for instance, uh, because they may have a restriction on how much power you're allowed to use. Um, both of us have our amateur extra licenses back in the U.S., so when you submit that paperwork uh, with the uh, communications regulatory body here in Ireland, they're going to take that and that's going to be a part of your, shall we say, uh, one of the requirements you have to meet to be able to run a station here. And I think you have to be a general or higher. Right, you have to be general or higher. And uh, the main website, there's some good informational websites, but the main website was comreg.ie. Right. And e-licensing, once you do get your license, it'll be e-licensing at comreg.ie, I think it is. So something like that. We'll put some of that down in the description below so that you'll have an idea. But it's specifically for Ireland is what we're doing here. If you were going to, uh, say, uh, the continent or something like that where you're working out of Germany or Italy, they're going to have different requirements most likely uh, if, if you're allowed to be a, a licensed ham radio operator in those countries. So one of the things we also wanted to do in our first video here is talk a little bit about working somebody here in the country where you happen to be. Now what Chris and I are doing is primarily just utilizing repeaters. They do have repeaters here that use Echolink as well. Many of you are familiar with Echolink. It's a, a voice over IP app essentially uh, that you can run on your phone or your computer. Uh, and uh, a number of the repeaters here in Ireland are also Echolink enabled. Right, and uh, part of our goal this week while we're here is to check into our club uh, nets uh, while we're here this week. Hopefully both of them, but certainly at least one. Uh, of course, there is a five-hour time difference right now, so it's going to make it a, a little bit early in the morning for us here. But it uh, should be a, a lot of fun to be able to check into our net at home through Echolink um, while we're traveling on the road. So. Right, and in this video, we're not going to show you using Echolink or um uh, making contacts per se, but we are going to show you that we've programmed our radios and uh, the, the four repeaters, I think Chris mentioned, two two two, two meter uh, repeaters mm -hmm. and two 70 centimeter repeaters. We, uh, we have, uh, I think I have three of them. I think he has all four in his radio, but uh, we'll show you communicating with those repeaters in the next segment. So Chris, shall we show them utilizing repeaters here in Ireland? Sure thing. Let's do it. Alrighty, folks. Uh, sorry about the wind noise. Uh, we didn't bring a, a better microphone. We're just using the uh, phone here. But uh, Chris is going to try to make some contacts with the four repeaters that he has uh, programmed into his radio. So, Chris, let's see if we can make a contact to go with our video today. All right, we're going to try uh, 145 600. Let's see if the repeater comes back to me. Echo India 4, Victor Kilo, Echo India 4, Victor Kilo, radio check. Sound like you hit the repeater okay. Echo India 4, Victor Kilo, U.S. visitor doing radio check. Can anybody receive me? Yeah, we're definitely getting into the repeater, but it's the middle of the work day for, uh, for most Irish folks, so may not uh, catch anybody on the monitoring right now. Echo India 4, Victor Kilo, clear for now. Yeah, definitely got into the repeater. We'll try another one. We've got four in our local area. This, that was a two meter repeater. This is another two meter repeater, 1457625. Didn't catch anything, but it may have ID'd recently. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo. U.S. visitor testing uh, radio. One of the others, I guess. Here we go. Let's try this one. It doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. 
Echo India 4, Victor Kilo. Echo India 4, Victor Kilo. U.S. visitor doing radio check. Doesn't seem to be anything on that one. Again, this is kind of the middle of the workday for a lot of folks. I'll try a 70 centimeter. So it just identified. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo. U.S. visitor doing radio check. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo, U.S. visitor doing radio check. Is anybody receiving? Another lovely day here in Ireland. There's a reason countries like this are green. It means you have to get some rain sometime. Yeah, nobody's checking that one. Again, we heard the repeater for that one. And I believe this is our last one. Another 70 centimeter, 433-225. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo. Echo India 4 Victor Kilo. U.S. visitor doing radio check. Is anybody receiving? Well, nothing right now. We did uh, make a contact yesterday with the mobile unit, um, and we'll keep trying. We're going to be here for a few days and uh, in the country for about another seven or eight days. So this is Chris, KY4CKP, and we'll keep checking the radio over here in Ireland.